Please do not litter. It does attract dash twos. All right, in that case, I will turn it over to the staff. Woo! 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 Oh! 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 This show is a murder mystery, so if you know the results, please keep it to yourself out of respect for other audience members. Characters in the show will lie to you. Not everyone is very trusting of each other, so it is up to you to dig deep to find out the truth of the situation. You are about to enter SCP-3008, the infinite Ikea. This Ikea, as you may know, is staffed by faceless employees who develop a thirst for blood when nightfall comes. Inside, you will find... Uh, civilians such as yourselves, as well as members of the SCP Foundation. This foundation is dedicated to containing anomalies or anything that doesn't follow our current understanding of science. If you would like to survive, your best bet is inside that door. So, please, we heavily encourage you to knock like hell and beg for your lives before the employees come to get you. rather than out there with the dash two. So, Edgar, do you care to explain? Yes, if you saw those things that look like Reject Simpsons out there, those are known as SCP-3008-2, dash two for short, harmless during the day, but incredibly volatile and dangerous during the evening. They have above you average strength, and they are incredibly hostile. Do not interact with them if you hear them at night when these lights go out say, the store is now closed, please vacate the premises. Thankfully, you all are safe in here. The settlement is fortified enough to survive them. How can you tell them that they're safe here when there was a murder less than 24 hours? Oh, 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 Look at Lou. The murder has been contained. Don't worry. For reference, the murder is safe to left Hell. Hey, Edgar. Don't antagonize the murder. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. We should probably explain. Er earlier this morning, late last night, um, Carter, Iris's fiance here, was unfortunately murdered by another one of our own in the settlement, Cam, who is uh, secured in the shower right now. Um, as Cam was murdering Carter, he was saying things that sounded very much like the Dash 2, saying things like the store is now closed, please exit the Ikea. Um, after securing Cam in the shower and Edgar and Ren taking over watch for the, for the night, a couple hours later we noticed that the body of Carter had been moved outside of the settlement. Um, and Dr. Sloan, I believe you have a theory about that. I do. So, I scanned the blood splatter from the scene of the crime with my Foundation-issued SCP scanner, which you are now intimately familiar with. Uh, at that moment, we figured out that there was anomalous material inside of that blood, which means that either Carter or Cam was anomalous. So, we went and we scammed Cam, since Cam is the only person that we have here at this time. Um, turns out Cam is fully anomalous. Uh, we have decided to call it SCP-3008-3, uh, or Dash 3s for short. Essentially a mutation of the Dash 2s that you all have encountered outside. They still have the bloodlust and the need to kill as the Dash 2s, but they are human in look, so they're easily blending with all of us. Uh, unfortunately, 
Since there was an accomplice, my theory is that they were as well a dash three, for they were comfortable enough to exit our settlement during the dark hours. And that's why we had to scan all of you upon entry, because if they can blend in with humans, we just needed to make sure that you all are humans yourselves. Speaking of humans, uh, I need to scan all of you all, please line up. Somebody? Okay, yeah, everyone line right. up. Oh. Be sure to get my good side. Yeah, okay. You don't have one. Uh, hey, John. Yeah. Uh, can you bring me another roll table? What? No, the last, the last roll was on your table. Well, I only have enough tape for one more scan. So what happened to all the tape? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. It's just your I don't know. Why are you all looking at me? Is you little... Oh, 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 I needed to make new underwear. Oh, Wait, my new underwear? You just walk around like this! Like this. So I can't I can't look, one thing is for certain. All of you are verified humans thanks to the Foundation's issued scanner, so we can all at least rely on you guys to help us out. Also, none of you were here last night, so your alibis are pretty rock solid by that account. So please, do whatever you can to help us figure this out, and maybe we can even find a way out of this godforsaken place. <laughs> Uh, we are on the verge of a breakthrough, folks, or at least I am. So if you all want to figure out this mystery pronto, come with me. I got something to say. And if you want to figure out this mystery right, come with us. Uh, if you guys just want to help me find my fiance's murder accomplice, like, I think that's the most important thing here. Please come find me. We really should be splitting the party. Well, hey, if you don't know what the fuck is going on and you just want to have a little bit of a good time. Well, fuck yeah! Come on. Here's the thing. I'm a doctor, and sometimes in life, you gotta let all the good things come to you. And right now, I see a lot of good things coming for you. Why is that a good Any restrictions against me talking to more suspect in there? Is that one over there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, he's not a suspect. He is the actual murderer, first of all. Uh, we're looking for the accomplice right now, the one who's exhibiting these uh, anomalous properties like him, except he looks exactly human. He didn't know that he was a Dash 3 until last night when he killed someone. Iris' fiance in cold blood, in fact, in front of me, while I was laying down right there. Just oh, really? a little nice news and a little, a little nice smoke. <laughs> yeah, and uh, now you're all here in the trap. Oh, so we have to find the good things, yeah? Yeah, what's that such a good thing? Some candy with us? What kind of candy is this, anyways? Yeah. Okay. The candy oh, lollipop is just a little bit of a Nice, nice. Um, I don't know if I'm ready to share that. I mean, can I give another one of these when I tell you my name? Yes. How about I'll tell you my name if you tell me yours? Oh, okay. Dr. Oswald, Don, P. Bay. I'm Clay, man. 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 Clay, Doctor. Yeah. Doctor. Doctor. That's what I'd like to hear later. What's your name? It's Aaron. Aaron. Aaron Adelby. Aaron. Nice to meet you. No, you are looking mighty suspicious here, chat. Now, let me give you a official introduction because we started a little bit late. My name is D Emotional Entropy, also known as Dr. Adelby, and this is the SCP-3008 IKEA Murder Mystery with Dr. Sherman and Toe King Studios. We are currently trying to find the killer, and this is the show. If you can help me out and remind chat, anyone who new comes in here and asks what's going on, give them a quick explanation. That'll be great, and thank you so much. I actually went to a bunch of random IKEAs. Uh, knowing that at least one of them, there was a little bit of a small chance that I would get trapped and be able to, to study these creatures. Now, did I think that I'd find a solution to get out? A little overzealously, a little, a little egotistical, yeah. Uh, and I'm paying the price right now, so. Thank you, Mackler. Yeah. Um, anything else you'd like to know about me? Oh, you said the foundation, right? Yeah. My opinion of the foundation. Yeah. Well, that's a long story. I'm part of the Shark Punching Center. You what? The Shark Punching Center, the SPC. Oh, the Shark Punching Center. Yeah. I haven't heard of you guys. Do you know where I'm Oh, well, the Mike Salishians and the Nazis. Yeah. Oh, and you keep getting mixed up with the SCP. 
see people. Yeah, it's, oh, yeah. it's a real yeah. hassle. Um, I'm just gonna call you more about it. We're a great organization, and uh, we have a little bit of beef with them, but you know, it's more of like uh, we have similar interests. Just, you know, we're getting a little frustrated about this. Yeah, I wish I could say the fucking same. <laughs> because they keep trapping my friends. You see, I said I'm a traveling doctor, right? Well, I've met some pretty cool people throughout my life, including one, Mr. Fish. You ever heard of a guy? Oh, we have heard of him. Oh. I'm well acquainted with him. Right, right, right. Now, I'm certainly well acquainted more with the bit of a doctor. With the name of a doctor? Oh, like the doctor. doctor. The doctor. The doctor. Like from, the, from who? Oh, yes. no. Well, I, I had once had a run-in with a very well-masked doctor fellow. Oh. And he was quite a charmer, however, he wasn't able to touch people. We only met for a brief time. Oh, Dr. Rockefeller. Yeah. Always with teeth. Oh, Always with the teeth. Very cool, very cool. That's the one you're talking about. I've come, yeah, I've come across quite a, co quite a couple of anomalies in my time. Oh, really? You too? Oh, yeah. yeah so we're very similar. We are very similar, yes. Do you work for the foundation, though, Doctor? Oh, I had worked for a time. It's been some time, though. Kind of gone off kilter too. I've gone off kilter, possibly. Shirt, so. yeah. <laughs> Looks like I've got some things to deal with in this foundation. <laughs> well, Though I don't trust the doctors. They seem a little bit manic. It looks like they've lost control of something. Okay. Sometimes you gotta keep cool in these situations, and all these people, they're freaking out. I don't trust them. I don't trust people who incarcerate people who uh, yeah, are just a little bit queer. Oh, yeah. Do you do that? Obviously not. <laughs> Obviously not. Maybe Obviously. if I got arrested for every single time I was queer a little bit, woo, yeah, I guess, buddy. the list would be down to there. Yeah. 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 But sometimes you gotta live life on the edge. Oh, yeah. They stay in some candy? Oh, oh, sure. Sure. oh yeah. You know, I'm quite interested in um, Cam over there with all that. You know, they detained him really quickly. No one's yeah. done any tests on him. No tests? No questions? No. No. I say, why don't you just do it anyway? There are some people crowding over there. Just go over there and, uh, oh, yeah. We can slip in. Ask him about his humanity. Ask him about his humanity. I'm really interested because, I mean, look at it. He looks human. My theory is that these, uh, these dash threes are like cinnamon rolls in disguise. You know, they look and act so human, but really, they're killers on the inside. So, do a little analysis for me. Just ask some questions about humanity. Come back. I'm yeah. Hey there. Yes. Are you doing okay? Are they treating you okay? Understandable. It looks pretty rough out there. Well, we wanted to ask you a few questions because we heard what happened, but there's some things that just aren't adding up. Could you tell us something about yourself? Like, who are you? What happened? I don't remember a lot about what happened. I know that I'm killing her, but I don't know why. But it's probably because I'm not human. And I, I've been alive for five years, and I've always felt this like, call to get people out of the idea of the trap you know, uh -huh. um, I've never acted on it, and I've lived with these people for two years now, so I don't know why I did. It's kind of easy. What about your humanity? Do you feel like, do you feel human? Do you feel like you have humanity as a part of you? What does being human feel like? Got any information? Currently he's asking what being human feels like. What are your names? My name's Aaron Adelby. I'm Yossi. Say again? Yossi. This is Yossi. Yossi. Sorry. It's alright. I'm Cam. Hello Cam. Hello Cam. So you're humans, right? You we're humans, yes. Well, once upon a time, still am. Still am, in a way. I'm still human. We are still human, but... So, you wanted to ask what it means and what it feels like to be human, right? Well, I guess there's a way to just... You just know. You just know that about yourself. Have you ever stubbed your toe? Have you ever it's stubbed... a lot like that. Yeah, it's like stubbing your toe and feeling a sense of yourself. Knowing what you and want to do pain, for yourself. The pain of existence. Yeah. I guess I'm not human because I... I know that I'm a staff member. I know that I work for the IKEA Corporation. Oh, I don't think IKEA is licensed under CC by SA 3.0. Well, thank you for letting us know. We'll check back in on you, but are they treating you okay? Like, 
Has any of the other people here said anything to you that seems strange? I don't think so. I don't know why anyone's wanting to be part of I don't know. Also, I, I've been in here and I don't remember anything from before yesterday, so most of the crime, I kind of don't know. Okay. But if you figure something out, please let me know because I, I do want to help. I really like Carter. Of course. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Let's head back to the party now. Because I'm curious. Let's see. Thank you for listening. Site 42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.